In 1999, Yamdeon returned home only to find his parents lifeless and the person responsible still in the kitchen. This moment left a deep scar on him, shaping who he would become. Fast forward to the present, Bitna, with her mystical powers, toys with Dayan, telling him to go to hell. Just as she's about to deal a final blow, she hesitates. Her weapon vanishes, and the director of hell, Bale, appears. He reprimands Bitna for targeting the wrong person and warns her of the consequences. She now has to send double the number of wrongdoers to hell. Magically, Dayan's injuries heal, and he wakes up, stunned to see the wound on his side gone. He takes Bitna to the police, but his wild story is dismissed as drunken rambling after a breathalyzer test. Bitna even spins the story, pretending she thought Dayan was playing a strange game. The police humor them, and Bitna walks away, leaving Dayan confused. Later, at a diner, a waitress threatens Bitna, accusing her of being a runaway from hell. The waitress, revealed as Gremory, another demon, quickly backs down when she realizes Bitna's true identity, bowing in admiration. Gremory, also on a mission, advises Bitna to keep Dewan quiet, making her reconsider their future encounters. Meanwhile, Bitna's assistant, Ku Mandu, stumbles into a church, where a woman holding a Bible offers to help him find salvation. The scene is both serious and comical as Ku goes along with it. As for Bitna, she confronts Dewan, revealing the truth about who she is and what she's capable of. She summons a knife and destroys any chance of Dayan recording her. She warns him to drop the case and stop wasting his energy, but Dayan, driven by the memory of his parents, refuses to back down. Elsewhere, Jung Jaegul plans a new apartment complex, but faces issues with a villa where Bitna resides. He wonders how to approach her after she refused to sign a document earlier. Later, Bitna and Dayan uncover a twisted case involving Jiho, a young boy, and his mother Jeon. Jiho's father passed away in a tragic accident, but Bitna suspects there's more to the story. When Jiho shows Bitna his drawings, she discovers one that could be crucial evidence. The boy witnessed his stepmother's involvement in his father's accident. Bitna vows to protect Jiho, telling Dayan that she believes in children's testimonies, even his own when he was a child. Her compassion surprises Dayan, making him realize she's not as heartless as he once thought. In court, Jiho's grandmother receives a light sentence, and Jeong retains custody of the boy. However, Bitna is watching closely, knowing that Jiho is still in danger. As Jeong's dark intentions surface, Bitna prepares to intervene, determined to stop her before any more harm is done.